Hey y'all, it's Nerdy Doll Girl here with another video. So this video is about Doll North, a Canadian BJD and Doll Con in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And it is actually a part of another convention called Anime North. So Anime North is a giant anime convention with cosplays and games and panels and like, um, learning different things well so it's exciting because we have doll north as well so doll north is a event where we have workshops we have games we have um panelists we have special guests and we have um strength what well, we have marketplace we have so many awesome things and we're we're growing after the pandemic so we're just starting up again in um this is our second year which is 2024 um but every year it's just getting better and better so i cannot explain how excited that i was to go back to doll north so not only the amazing things we get to do, but the amazing, amazing friends I have going there and the ones that I've made recently as well. So uh, I'm just going to tell you my experience and I'm going to show you guys the loot I got. So the first day that I went, which as I said, it's in Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the Tor Toronto Congress Center. And it's usually the end of May, but sometimes it does um, change, but usually the end of May. Well, so we went up on the Friday because we got the whole weekend pass. And the first event for me, because my husband and my kids go to the anime side, and I go to the Doll North side. So the first night was the Marketplace, which is one of, I'm not Marketplace, sorry, the Swap, which is one of my favorite events. So when you go, you're able to bring like dolls or wigs or clothes or eyes or anything doll related. You can have a little bit of non-doll related to trade, but it's mainly for doll items. So I think it's 90% at least has to be doll items. So anyways, it's awesome because you get to trade and, and get new things without having to um, worry about selling your stuff, if you can just trade it. Um, and there's something really fun about trading things I find. Um, I did do a couple trades, which I will show you guys, but yeah, uh, so you could trade stuff or if you bought, a, a green band for $5, or if you had paid to have a table in the marketplace, then you were able to sell as well, which was fun and helpful. <laughs> uh, so I got, um, I traded three things and I bought a number of things. Um, well, not as many as, not as much as some years, but the ones I got, I think are really awesome. So anyways, the first night um, we had booked a hotel and unfortunately, and I'm sure this is not new, um, the convention hotels around the convention, I mean, they jacked their prices up exponentially. And so it was really, really stressing me out because, you know, I, even if I had a ton of money, which I do not, <laughs> um, I would not feel like happy to pay as much as they were asking. So I ended up, uh, my husband's like, sorry, I'm just going to turn this off so I don't get interrupted. Um, so 
my husband's like, well, why don't you check on other hotels around, but like not quite there. And so I did, and I was able to find a hotel that was $300 cheaper than the hotel that I had originally booked. So that's why you like, for me, I always like book, but then don't pay until I get there because then there are situations like this where you can find a much better deal. The only problem was I needed a, a bath shower combination because of my pain and they did not have a bath shower combination, even though on the website, it showed that the, um, in the description, it said a bath shower combination. So I had to call down to the, the um, front desk and I had to talk to them and I got it resolved, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. And um, I said, you know, you can't advertise on your website something and then it's not there, especially when I have to do it for, you know, health reasons. Anyways, other than that, the, the breakfast was, uh, but it was included and they had a nice pool. So it was a lot of fun to be able to swim in that pool. And again, $300 cheaper. The other place didn't even have a pool. So like definitely, definitely if you can, you know, check around and make sure you're getting the best deal. I totally uh, recommend that. So anyways, that was when I arrived there. And then, so the market, uh, I don't know why I want to keep calling it the marketplace. The swap meet was the first event. And so I got there and it was really so exciting to see all my friends and to see all the different uh, doll stuff all around that you could trade for and buy. And um, I was able to see my friend Emma, my friend Tina, um, my friend Tiffany. Uh, I'm trying to think of everyone I saw that was, um, that I've known for a while. Um, if I forgot one of you guys, I apologize. I've actually tried to do this video seven times. So I apologize if I missed anyone. I love you all very much. Um, but it was awesome because I made friends with a girl named Marwa. And if you're watching, sweetheart, then hi, honey. Um, such a sweetheart. Just so kind and so warm and um made me feel so special and uh so i met her that day and then i also i had posted on the smart doll appreciation society and i think i can't remember why i posted but i was saying something about doll north and um I made friends with this guy named Guy. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, hey, Guy. Hey, person. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I made friends with this guy named Michael. And I was so, so happy for Michael to come. He came to the convention. And we were able to hang out for most of the night. And... <laughs> Michael, you are so delightful. We have so much like that we can talk about and we have a lot of things in common and it was he brought his um live and let live I believe in tea. Um I think her name is Blair or Blake or Please correct me down below, sweetheart. You know that I'm really bad with names. <laughs> so anyways, um, we talked and we were having a lot of fun and I had been looking around at various things and I did buy and trade stuff at, at this um, swap. So I will show you guys that in a minute. But unfortunately, when I am in a lot of pain, with my fibromyalgia, I can get 
dizzy feeling and I felt so dizzy when I had been standing for a long period of time um, and I ended up feeling super dizzy. But luckily my friend Emma, my friend Tina and Michael were there and um, Emma is a mom to a two-year-old. So she had water and snacks and she gave me some of those and it really helped me. So thank you, Emma, so much. And I know you're watching, sweetheart, because you wanted this video. Um, but uh, just a lifesaver. She has such a big heart, like such a big heart. I am so blessed to have her in my life. And then my friend Tina, um, she got me water as well to just keep me hydrated. And again, such a sweetheart. I am so blessed with the friends that I have. And then Michael, he actually went and got me, um, well, I asked if he could get me a chocolate bar and I give him the money. He's like, don't worry about it. And so he went to the store and he got me four chocolate, three three or four chocolate bars and it just it meant so very much to me because he was um you know he he didn't know me before and again just like I meet the sweetest most kind people and um definitely had those t um kind of people that night so that was fun and I'll show you guys now what I got from the swap meet so the first thing that I got was I swapped for these um, with my friend Tina. And hello, Tina, sweetie. So they, um, I traded uh, um, BJD, um, oof, BJD, a uh, blind box BJD that I have, that I had. And Tina had penny box centaurs. And so we traded. I took the two centaurs and she took the, um, uh, the, she's like bigger doll. Uh, she was like pastel and stuff. So the first one that I got is this little sweetie. Now, unfortunately, she lost her horn. Um, and her tail keeps falling off, which the the tail, the first generation of these were, had problems with their tails popping off. So she does have a problem with her tail popping off, but you just try and squeeze it in there and hope for the best. You can also glue it. But so here she is. And as you can see, she lost her horn, but that's okay. Um, that's not how Tina traded me with, um, I put her down and then her horn must have hit the ground or something and that's how it got broken off. But she has these cute little wings and the little tail, but again, it's almost falling off. And I love the, the goth punk dress and the hair is so so pretty i i've had my hair this this red color um but i've never done like this black and red because uh i don't think i'd look good with black hair like i think it's a little too dark for my skin that was her wing don't worry so then the other one that I traded Tina for was this adorable pastel-y girl uh, with iridescent hair and a little horn and sweet little headband and the braid back here, a sweet little dress. And she's just so cute and she's blowing kisses. <laughs> But she's the second generation, so her tail is fine. But so cute. And then the next thing that I got at the swap meet was my friend Tiffany was there. And she had 
some CJ clothes and um, wigs and she also had a smart doll head in blue with the lightning strike but I can't remember which one that is and I know that somebody will be able to tell me down below um, but oh I loved it it was so beautiful but I just could not afford it and I could not afford a body to go with it um, but anyway, she had some clothing and I was able to get Toby this awesome sweater. Well, not sweater, uh, sweatshirt, uh, a zip up hoodie. And because they couldn't go, then I got them this kind of to say, I'm sorry, uh, but also I'll explain why Toby might not regret going, uh, so here we go. I don't know what this one is called, but I think Toby looks amazing in it. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> uh, so there's the hood at the back and it actually, you can zip it up all the way to the top of the hoodie. So yeah, I think, I think Toby looks amazing in it. So what I was explaining to Toby earlier was that, sorry, was that being a convention doll is actually not that much fun. So, so yes, they get to go, they get to see, uh, you know, people and get to be there for the events and panels and all of that stuff with you. But for me, I have to have a walker and when I go to con conventions and stuff like that. And so <laughs> poor Francesca, at the end of the convention, I had to use my walker um, because I actually had to, the parking at the Anime Doll North is horrible 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 i have i actually have besides my wheelchair parking i have this little sticker on my weekend pass this is the um kind of id they give you and you put it on a on a little lanyard uh, but because of my disability then they give you this sticker and it does not help with the parking, unfortunately. I had to walk with my walker so, like, miles away. And anyways, but this, if you are disabled at all, you can ask for this sticker. And you are able to go to sit down earlier than other people. You can... Um, go through certain places that uh, other people can't go through to get you closer without having to walk as far. But so they do do what they can, I guess, but it is, it's very hard. But anyways, back to being a convention doll, Francesca was, <laughs> so I have a little like um, mesh, basket underneath my walker that is not on the ground like it it's it's like this much off the ground um and it's got mesh so you can see inside and it's a little stiff and so i had to put francesca in there because i had a giant box and i had um I had all of the stuff that I had gotten at convention because we had to um, leave the hotel. And so you have to um, bring all your stuff at the end. So anyways, she got shoved in there. She got passed around. I mean, you, it's, not a, it's not a pretty existence for the <laughs> time you're out in some ways. But I did promise I would take her... Uh, them not her them next year so we'll see if they like it 
And then, so the next day was um, the marketplace. And if you watch my video before this, which is the, well, not before this, but before this, like two, I think two videos back or something. Anyways, it's about the marketplace. Um, so that day I was able to see my friend Melissa. Uh, we briefly saw each other at the uh, swap meet and we actually traded dolls and I will show you the doll that I traded for in a minute but um, it was it was a lot of fun it's a lot of work and um, there's some lulls and and everything but it's from it was from 10 where we set up to when it opened at 12 and then till four o'clock and my body was just it just crashed. But when I was there, I saw Marwa again and I met Force BJD. They are amazing, such a sweetheart. They recognize me from my channel and they just made me feel really special. And I just thought, wow, I'm like so lucky with the people that I've gotten to meet and they were not um, not the exception. They were amazing. I just thought, such a sweetheart. So if I get permission, I will put some photos at the end with the people that I met this year, if they're comfortable with that. And if not, there won't be those photos at the end. Uh, but thank you, Forrest BJD, for making my day seeing you. And so... When uh, I was sitting there, I also got to spend more time with my friend Tina. She came over and we sat together. And Michael came back and we sat and chatted while I was selling. And once again, just a delightful human being. I cannot wait to see him again sometime. He's not that far away from me, so that's good. And, and we've been chatting, so you really do make lifelong friends when you go to things like this and you know if you can't go to a convention you can always find friends online which I think is awesome so I'll show you guys the doll that I traded for and then I'm going to show you a couple things that my friend Emma gave me because Emma's a sweetheart. Um, but I traded my, um, my U doll for this gorgeous man. He is a doll she model. He's 42 centimeters and he is gorgeous. Unfortunately, I am getting out of resin so even though he's not for me, I thought it was a, a fair trade and I thought, well, maybe I'll like him. Um, and I do, but I am actually gonna sell him. So if anybody is interested, please comment or message me on Instagram. But anyways, so here he is. I can't, I think it's Artemis. Uh, I'll put the name of him down below but he is gorgeous. He has um, Mako eyes and these gorgeous, these gorgeous um, hands. Look at the veins. And he's really, really flexible and his poses are awesome. He comes with this pair of pants and, excuse me. And he comes with these two hoodies. So yeah, like it's fun. Even if you are not going to keep the doll that you traded for and you decide you want to like sell it or, or trade it to another person, again, that's still fun. And I recommend trading with someone you know just to be safe um, because it's, you'd never do know. But... Um, 
Melissa is a very dear friend, so all good for me. So anyways, my friend Emma, she gave me a couple of things. So the first thing she gave me was the BJDA's Collector's Logbook. And if you don't know what that is, you're not alone. <laughs> no, uh, she showed me what it is. A really cool book. And you can put in the, the company name of your doll, the sculpt, the if it's basic, full set, resin color, vinyl color, purchase date, received date, purchased from. And it, it has all this information that you can put down. And then you can kind of keep a history, a catalog of the dolls that you have. I have heard of them before and I know that some of them are online, but to have that like right here in a book, super, super awesome. And then Emma made me and my daughter uh, these amazing, amazing cups and they um, were specially made so that they're exactly the kind of stuff we like. So it says, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy Monster High. And that's basically the same thing. So that is for my child. So, so freaking cool. They love Monster High so much. I love Monster High too. But not as much. <laughs> um, but then Emma gave me this and I I started tearing up because it's so amazing and so beautiful. Look. I absolutely love it so much. And it's my favorite color, pink. And just to have this, it means so very much to me. So I got those on, I actually got those on the swap night. And so then I will show you the last two, three things, but I'm just going to tell you the last day was Project Runway and we did, um, the Project Runway is where they have, um, a game where you have to take like unique supplies. So not your, you know, average supplies like fabric and stuff, but different kinds of supplies. So the one year was candy and I actually won <laughs> one of the prizes. So I made, um, a boned corset out of, uh, licorice and, and candies and, and everything. And it was so much fun. And then um, one year we did paper, I um, can't remember what the other year, one of the other years were, but this year was um, Queen of Hearts or um, something like that. And it was car deck of cards. You have to make um, an outfit out of a deck of cards. And there was so many amazing entries uh, but like so much creativity. So I'm going to show you guys my entry. So here is mine. I took, oh, it's starting to come unglued. Sorry. Um, I took the ace of, I don't know, anyways, and the back of the card. So I made a corset and then have the back of the card says the shoulder pads. I used, uh, you were allowed to use ribbons, so I made a, a skirt out of ribbons. And then the back is corseted. So I just took the ribbon and corseted it at the back. But it was a lot of fun, even though I didn't win. Um, it's just a fun time to be creative and hang out with your friends and possibly win a prize or, or so. So that was a lot of fun. And I just, I really love 
the whole experience of the convention. It's just so amazing. So um, I have two more exciting things to show you. Uh, three, sorry, I keep forgetting the third. So first of all, I'll show you guys Dull North actually has pins every year. Oh, I found another thing to show you um, that has pins every year. And the last year's was this one. And I have, they didn't have a new one this year, so I just have this one on here. But I do actually have a number of them on my pin flags. Um, and then the one year I got the legit BJD owner and so the other thing that I got that I just realized and I almost forgot was this cutie pie from Peachy Daydreams. So if you don't know who Peachy Daydreams is, she's this amazingly talented artist from Canada and she makes um, these little ones, but she also makes large like MSD, um, Wandat, Wandat, Odat, Odat, I think. I'll put her information down below because she has, that's the first one she started with. And then she's grown so much um, as a like artist with all sorts of um, amazing things that they make, um, that she makes. And she like sews and she's been creating um, some like uh, Faye dolls and um, some uh, like really cool, this really cool male sculpt that is um, like a, a, I don't know, like a wraith or it's really cool. So I will have her information down below. I just love her, Eliza. She's an amazing person. And she actually was part of the panels. Um, that night, I was on um, Saturday. They had the panel with her and um, Rosie from Teeny Tinkers. Um, so I got to meet Rosie, and I'll tell you all about that. But um, I forgot to mention on Thursday, I mean, Saturday, the Teeny Tinkers and PG Day Dreams panel was all about making BJDs and the different kinds of ways to do it, like sculpting or digital. And um, unfortunately that night I was just so, so much pain that I could not, uh, stay to watch the panel to like be at the panel and I wasn't able to do um they had BJD bingo They're, they have so many cool games but I had to unfortunately leave but I got to go to the Mandarin with my family which is my favorite restaurant so that was amazing um and so yummy <laughs> and then my son and I actually uh stayed back at the hotel well um my daughter and my husband went to the um, the masquerade, which is a competition at Anime North with all sorts of incredibly made costumes. I don't know how they judge, um, but anyways, so I got to swim with him and that was so wonderful. I love getting to spend time with my kiddos and my family. And so it was just an awesome time. And then, um, so the last two things. So I mentioned that I was not able to go to the Teeny Tinkers and Peachy Day Dreams um, panel, but I was able to meet Rosie. We hung out a little bit and I'll put a picture of us uh, on the end of this video. And um, Anyways, I was able to stop by and get something special from Rosie. And if you don't know Rosie Teeny Tinkers, um, she has her own, um, she has a YouTube channel, two YouTube, two YouTube channels. Uh, she makes these incredible dolls. Um, 
she has just so many talents like crazy crazily talented um and so anyways i was able to get this little saturn so she has this cool um wig oh i i had to glue it because um it just the um can't speak um the putty that i had in it um that was in it i mean uh just didn't work as well so i wanted to glue it and rosie said that was fine uh but cute little hand painted face just absolutely adorable and i could not pass her up and if you haven't definitely check out teeny tinker's channel um for various reasons, uh, one of them being that you can actually see her in the convention dolls that she um, showcased and the other items that she showcased that she brought to the con. But um, I actually had this little outfit to sell and then when I saw her, I'm like, oh, well, there we go, this is perfect. <laughs> and, it, and it matches her eyes perfectly. Uh, but yeah, check out Teeny Tinker's um, two channels. She has so many, so much awesome content. She has amazing guests and just awesome channel and awesome artist and awesome person. <laughs> I've met a lot of great people, I, I tell you. And so the last but not least is I got this wonderful keychain my daughter and I and um, my son and my husband, we all watch Delicious in Dungeons. So, or Delicious in Dungeon? I think that's, I think there's no S. Um, but anyways, my daughter said that she was gonna get me something and I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> I wonder what it is. And so she ended up getting this keychain of my absolute favorite character and i'm gonna butcher his name but i think it's senji um but it's an artist drawing and i love it so much now i'm not using it as a keychain because it will get ruined um i'm i actually have a wall um of posters and tin signs and stuff that i'm gonna put him up on the wall with and it just, it means so much to me because she got it for me and, and was thinking of me. So yeah, I think, I think, um, that is all for the convention. Um, I had an absolutely incredible, wonderful time. Again, the reason for me, besides all that fun stuff, because there is so much fun stuff and I will say we are growing as a convention after the pandemic it was really hard uh, to get everything back in order and everything but the team is really amazing and next year is just going to be even better than this year and this year was awesome so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um, like share and subscribe and if you um Sorry, I'm trying to think what I was going to say. If you, want to, if you want to look at any of my other videos, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And make sure you check out the end of the video for some pictures. And hopefully some pictures with people that I met and they said it was okay. So, all right. See you guys later. Bye.